iOS 14 developer beta file has just been released by Apple. Now, this is the video I'm gonna share you some of the changes in developer beta files. And on my both hand here, I have the iPhone SE that are running on iOS 14 and the white one it is running on iOS 14 beta 4 and on the black one it is running on iOS 14 beta 5. Now you can check the build number here. So I'm gonna go to general and about and for iOS 14 developer beta 5 it is has the build number 18A535-1D. Now let's dive into it. So for the first changes it is gonna be clock. Now I'm gonna go to clock in both device and show you the differences. Now if you go to alarm and then you can um, create an alarm and now on beta file you can just um, scroll the time here. So I'm gonna scroll it real quick and you can see we have the wheel that you can just scroll and instead on beta 4 you cannot do that so it doesn't allow you to scroll and it is a feature that I like and one more thing on calendar so if you take a look on both devices and you can take a closer look on beta 5 it is gray and on beta 4 the background of the calendar widgets it is um, completely black and even the touch on beta 5 it is um, gray and you can see on beta 4 here the color is much um, it is much brighter we also have got a new feature on beta 5 especially on photo now if you go to settings and then you can go to photo so you can scroll down then you're gonna head over to photo and you have got a new option which is called hidden album so what it means so when you hide a photo you can also hide the album completely from the photo now for example i'm gonna go back to um, photo right here and then let's say i want to hide this one now i can just click on share then i'm gonna hide the photo completely then i'm gonna hide it so now the photo is completely high and usually when you hide it you're gonna see the hidden album but now you can see it is completely high so compared to um, beta 4 now if i go to um, hidden album so you can see the photo that has been high it's gonna um, go to hidden album and now you can see here there is no hidden album in beta 5 now if you want to enable hidden album again you can just go back to settings then you can just enable it now if you go back you're gonna see hidden album again and you can see right here now for safari if you go to search and you can select here now on beta 5 you're gonna see the blue background whereas on beta 4 you're gonna see the white background so it is a small change now on setting you can also turn on covid options so you can just go here now there is an option that you can turn on on beta 5 and instead whereas on beta 4 there is no option to turn on now you can just turn it on and you can just click on continue and you can select the country and now if you take a look on folder on both devices and on beta 5 it is much smaller and it is narrow and compared to beta 4 it is much bigger now on music you're gonna see the background is so the movement is very slow and it isn't very active compared to beta 4 and you can also see on beta 5 the background that adaptive to the music it is much faster compared to beta 4 and if you change to different music or different radio you're gonna see the background on beta 5 it is adaptive um, it is much faster compared to beta 4 so these are some of the new changes and I will do the battery test on both device here so I'm gonna do the battery test, the full battery test so you can check um, whether Beta 5 or Beta 4 is better for your phone especially for those of you that are currently using iPhone SE, the 2013 one and finally thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one